ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಧವಗೀತ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪೇಜ್ ತ್ರೀ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮದರ್ಪಣ ನಿಷ್ಫಲ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ನಿಜ ಕರ್ಮ ತತ್ ರಾಜಸಂಫಲ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ಹಿಂಸಾ ಪ್ರಾಯಿ ತಾಮಸ ಲಾಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ dealing with the topic of uh, three gunas and their role in human beings life in the beginning of this chapter up to sixth verse he took the general introduction how the world is uh, a product of uh, prakriti prakriti is the cause world is the effect the effect world since it is a karyam it inheres the gunas of prakriti sattva rajas and tamas ಕಾರಣಗುಣ ಕಾರ್ಯೇ ಅನುವರ್ತಂತೆ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾರಣ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಯೇ ಇನ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ all objects and human beings also in this world i am in this world only i am also a prakriti vikara i am also a product of prakriti only since world happens to be the vikara of the prakriti i am the part and parcel of this world therefore i the individual also associated with uh, three gunas it is uh, the truth no one can avoid these three gunas uh, why to talk about their role in our life let them be there anyhow i am born with three gunas i am part and parcel of the world that is the fact why to study huh? why to study about the gunas because human being has got a parama purushartha that is moksha ಇನ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಅರ್ಥ ಕಾಮ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥ ಅರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಮನಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಟೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫುಲ್ಫಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಹವೆವರ್ ಮಚ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಷ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ತೃಪ್ತಿ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ that insecurity can go only by moksha purushartha only human being can accomplish this moksha purushartha in this creation an intelligent person recognizes this since uh, common sense is there minimum common sense is there viveka buddhi is there person recognize 
those who are not recognizing means they are lacking even common sense why because of tamoguna <laughs> predominant tamoguna they never love to come to shastra to study to get parama purushartha moksha krishna says he uddhava one the individual even though born out of three gunas he or she need not suffer in insecurity and happiness or dissatisfaction there is a possibility of fourth purushartha that fourth purushartha moksha is possible by by atma gnanam that atma gnanam is possible only when the sattva guna sattvika nature is predominant so a viveki a person who is having common sense <laughs> understand this and work for making one's personality <coughs> sattvic predominant personality sattvic predominant please remember tamo guna rajo guna you cannot make nil tamo guna rajo guna you cannot make nil it is not possible then what is possible only one thing is possible you can reduce tamo guna you can reduce rajo guna by taking to resorting to sattva guna when can you reduce tamo guna rajo guna when can you reduce tamo guna rajo guna you can reduce you can avoid tamo guna as much as possible not nil you can reduce drastically the tamo guna the whole religious practices are given to reduce drastically the tamo guna of the individual are how many people know that all religious practices festivals vrata puja japa dhyanam so many sadhanas meant to reduce this uh, tamo guna drastically how many of us know before coming to shastra none nobody can know only after studying bhagavad gita only after studying uddhav gita we come to know oh this is the secret shastra kept to reduce tamo guna that is why this knowledge is very important for everyone once you become a rajasik person by reducing tamo guna drastically by your disciplines then you become more active hyper active there also you become so restless that also you have to reduce after some time come to sattva guna within this life span only you have to do all these things if you postpone it is not possible as early as possible person has to study shastra to understand at young age they cannot study shastra they should follow the parents whatever disciplines given by parents because those parents practiced by listening to their parents like that young age you cannot understand as a child as a teenager minimum age is adult adolescence you have to become an adult to understand until that time the child or teenager should follow the parents and teachers once you become an adult by those practices slowly you will enter into sattva guna this is the journey so in these verses from 7 to 19 lord krishna 
has given the status of the mind of a, a sattvic person, rajasic person and a tamasic person. Status of the mind, their thinking. Now in Gita Bhashyam also we are seeing the same topic. Jnanam, Sattvika Jnanam, Rajasa Jnanam, Tamasa Jnanam, Sattvika Kartha, Rajasa Kartha, same topic, you see, almost the same topic. Here, he, more topics, Lord Krishna talking, nearly 10 to 11 topics, Sattva Raja Tamoguna based. So, in 20th verse, after talking about the Kala, Sattvika Kala, Rajasa Kalaha, Tamasa Kalaha. By the time of that, you know, a person is dying in that because of Tamoguna person dying and going where, what body he will get, Rajasik person dying and where he goes, what body next he will get, Sattvic person like that he is enumerating. In 20th verse, he talked about um, avastha trayam. Sattvic, a person is always uh, jagrad avastha compared to sattva guna. Compared to means what? In sattva guna, only person is awake, more vigilant. He is ready to grasp, learn. Therefore, sattva and sattva guna and jagrat avastha go together. And Swapna, Raja, Sikh dominant. And Tamoguna, dominant in Sushupti, Avastha. So, Avastha Adraya. In 21st verse, he gave the Akriti, body forms. A person who leaves the body at the time of Sattva Guna predominant, he will get higher bodies. Deva Shariram, he said. Rajoguna predominant time, if a person leaves the body, he go, gets the medium body, that is Manushya Sariram, Manushya Akriti. Then Tamoguna predominantly, if he dies, <laughs> that person go to lower Lokas, lower Janmas, Rakshasa Sariram. So, Murkha Sarmata, those who are Murgha means what dull-witted person never understand Vadigatina uh, muttal, they say in Tamil. Vadigatina muttal, they can never understand others, people, whatever good they are talking, noble words, they never listen, they can never understand those Rakshasas. We are seeing in around in the world, people, there are Rakshasa behavior, wrong behavior. Why they are doing in a tamasic nature? They got such a body. So, um, they have to be eliminated from the society. You know. How Krishna Paramatma eliminated a hmm, lot of Rakshasas. Who are they? What they do? They do Himsa to the world, violence. They create a disharmony in the society. Not only society, if that person is there in the family, also he creates such a... How much Hiranyakashipu gave problem to Prahalada's mother? Uh, mother was suffering because of uh, that Hiranyakashipu's behavior. Mandodri also suffered because of Ravana's behavior. In family also there is a suffering. In society also there is a suffering because of a Rakshasa. Why? Kajaptamoguna Akriti. Then 22nd verse, he talked about the Loka Nishtha. What Lokas they go to? Upari Upari. Satraguna people go to Brahma Loka, higher Lokas. Brahmanaha, Lokaha, he said. Then Rajoguna people get intermediary Lokas. And um, lower Tamoguna people go to Atala Vitala Sutala. Then in 22nd verse over, that is Lokaha Tamulayastu Nirayam and Narakam. They will go to Naraka. 
See, Naraka is there. Here also they experience that Naraka in the is life itself and after going also they will suffer there. Naraka is that suffering. Physical suffering, mental suffering, all sufferings continuously come to that person. Then in 23rd verse which I introduced in the last class, Trividham Karma, sorry Trividham Phalam, three types of Phalam. A sattvic person gets you know, nishphalam, no phalam. His karma, panchamaha yajnas, he does that itself is the phalam for him. The reward is that good karma is itself is a reward for him. He gets chitta shuddhi, jnana yogyata. So, madarpanam nishphalam, because they offer to Bhagavan. Ishvara arpanamastu, bhakti. Krishna Arpanamastu, Rama Arpanamastu, everything is Bharva Bhagavan. Why to ask anything, the Phalam, he never ask. While doing Panchamaha Yajna, so itself is a great Yajna, Sattvikam Nijakarma Tat, Nijakarma means one's own duties, that is Panchamaha Yajna, performance. Pitra karma, Deva Yajna, Rishi Yajna, Pitra Yajna, Manusha Yajna, Bhuta Yajna. With uh, devotion, with the devotion, Mother Panam, offering to the Lord. Whereas Rajasam people get um, Phala Sankalpam, they will have a Sankalpa, they want to get, there is an anxiety until that Phalam comes. Sattvic person is free from anxiety, stress, tension because there is no expectation. When there is an expectation, you have to pay the price in the form of uh, mental turbulence. Either in the form of stress, anxiety, worry, guilt or something or other. Here Swadharma, Nijakarma means Swadharma. Swadharma means uh, um, samskaras, with good samskaras, performing uh, compulsory duties, they are panchamaha yajnas. Then, for uh, this is sattvika, rajasa phalam, kama, kamya karma, kamya phalam, there is uh, some sort of uh, disturbance. A person who is uh, performing an action with uh, anxiety, it is called uh, Sankalpa, there is Sankalpa, I want to get this Phalam. There is no total surrender to Lord. Bhagavan will give to me whatever is good for me. Leave to Him, leave to Him. Like that, for Sattvic Karma, again next to Shloka comes, um, Ishwara Prapti, what are the reward for this person? Sattvika Phalam, Nishphalam means Nishprayojanam, you should not take. Nishphalam means um, Vihita Karma, when he performs, the reward is Ishwara Prapti, first reward. By getting Chitta Shuddhi, you get Ishwara Prapti. Phala Sankalpa is there for Rajasa person as a Sakama. So that is given in this verse, 23rd verse. Next we will go to Trividham, um, another Jnanam, Trividham Jnanam. See, like Bhagavad Gita Bhashyam class. <laughs> okay. Here also you can study, there also you can study. So we, here Sattvika Jnanam, Rajasa Jnanam, Tamasa Jnanam. So this is about a, uh, like a mirror about my own personality. I am just looking at me internal. So Bhagavan is giving the like um, what is that um, X-ray? They take X-ray. You can see the whole skeleton, bones, uh, knee joints, uh, uh, hands. Every you know, skeleton you can see the inside. But when you see a person, you cannot see the skeleton. 
X-ray alone can take that picture. But a photography, you know, that is wonder. This skin, um, flesh, blood, uh, everything, it, nothing will come. Only the bones all will come. Everyone has got Asti Panjaram. That is called Asti means bones. Panjaram means it is like a cage. Hmm? It is whole body full and that skin in between this, uh, uh, that um, bones, there is a lot of flesh and blood. This is the body. You imagine just close your eyes, Asti Panjaram is there. Inside there is a flesh and blood and all those um, marrow, bone marrows are there and cells are there and kidneys, pancreas, <laughs> heart. This is what our nature, body nature. We should remember that. But outside only we will see the skin, skin part and nicely doing lot of what? snow, apply powder, snow, etc, etc. This type of uh, uh, um, appearance, outside appearance makes us to forget our original nature, inside nature. Original inside nature, I should not forget. I should not forget. That is called Sattvika Jnanam. Sattvika Jnanam is there a person knows the anatma shariram, what is its nature. That's why it is like a walking toilet. It has its glory, it has got its demerits also, merits and demerits. An intelligent person remembers always what are the demerits of this body. Vyadhi jara maranam, keep it aside. Apart from that, how much it is having lot of defects in so many ways. At the same time, it has got its own glory also. As a Vedantic student, I should know and understand clearly and remember this body is very, very um, fragile. Only one purpose, Aham Brahmasmi Jnanam. What for that Jnanam also? Only to um, keep this body mind complex in uh, happiness, Ananda, real Ananda, permanent Ananda, peace, happiness, security. So that as long as you live, Jnani life is a very wonderful, beautiful on this earth. Because he or she is the one who has understood the body-mind complex and the Parama Purushartha by living at a very young age and leading the life in the society. What a beautiful personality it is. So everyone becomes a Jnani. How beautiful it is the world is. That is what Bhagavan's expectation. But we are disappointing the Bhagavan. Hmm? We are managing to disappoint Ishwara. Ishwara has given Shastra, we have left. Ishwara has given the wonderful, beautiful world to make uh, and live joyfully. We have lost it. Human beings, we mean human beings. And uh, fighting, killing, lot of things, unwanted. Uh, all the things are going on only because of lack of understanding the human goal. Why they are not understanding? Lack of study of our culture, our education. So for Gurukulas are very, very important. <laughs> okay. Now let us go to the next verse. 24, page number 307. Kaivalyam Satvikam Jnanam Rajo Vaikalpikam Chayat Prakritam Tamasam Jnanam Manishtam Nirgunam Svrutam 
you won't get this type of analysis anywhere only in uddhava gita now you pe- ask people how many people are attending bhagavatam classes how many people are listening to bhagavatam except uddhava gita the listen up to 10th skandha they listen because 11th skandha only uddhava gita comes almost it is like a bhagavad gita only even bhagavad gita is very less shlokas hmm? 18 chapters only this is having 23 chapters more uh, shlokas are there more than 1000 shlokas so therefore uddhava gita even in mahabharata moksha dharma parva is fantastic again it is like a um, gita teaching bhishma message bhishma sandesham so these are all uh, our treasure our treasure next uh, kaivalyam satvikam gnanam now trividha gnanam three types of knowledge three types of knowledge means uh, normal worldly knowledge only satvikam gnanam kaivalyam kevalasya bhavaha kaivalyam means advaitam advaita gnanam is called satvikam whenever you are satvik there is a possibility of getting advaita gnanam that's why a person has to become as early as possible satvik anger jealousy fear all those things to be reduced drastically all uh, negative tendencies uh, when can i drop uh, as much as possible i have to throw them those type of uh, characters you know arishad varga skama krodha lobha moha mada matsarya drop 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 then satya guna slowly increases sat satvik aahara satvik shraddha 17th chapter read again and again practice implement let me become satvik person first your words your behavior your talking everything will change and it is good for your health also and good for family health also and good for social health also all atrocities in the society all disharmony anywhere in the world on the globe happening only because of lack of sattva guna remember therefore as much as possible as many people as possible become sattva guna predominant they are called dharmic purushas for the sake of society in our family also see that children give sattvic food why mirchi masala all those karam pulpu lot of uh, what lord krishna said rajasik aahar everybody is eating rajasik aahar at home and want sattva guna how it will come i am not telling krishna only said rajasik aahar tamasik person likes this type of food rajasik mindset person likes this type of food therefore if you want to become a satvik choose the satvik person's food bhagwan has given clearly why can't you choose huh? in the nak neelam ani solluvale the tongue navadangina nalum adangum adangam maatingirade how can i eat without urugai how can i eat without uh, green chilli how can i eat uh, without uh, mirchi masala pizza corner Yeah, see people how much uh, dumping in the stomach and how it influences the mind therefore in the house also satvik aahara is important why brahmanas were so great those days uh, brahmana means uh, they look at you know high pedestal why only because they are satvik they were satvik why they were using satvik food only they were taking satvik lifestyle they were living all satvik 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 only for that purpose brahmana is superior 
because of that type of sattvic brahmanas were there in the society there was so much of harmony in the society so name telling i am a brahmana doesn't work brahmana gunas brahmana nature brahmana jeevan shaili vyavahara everything is meant for social harmony we should not forget that responsibility to everyone can become a brahmana guna wise jati can netta cannot become a brahmana bhagwan's aim is to everyone should reach the to brahmana status guna brahmana karma brahmana you have a choice jati brahmana you don't have choice you are born to that parents but guna brahmana for everyone even shudra jati person can become a guna brahmana who is understanding this in the society not knowing this and they are attacking sanatana dharma they are attacking sanatana dharma in sanatana dharma every varana person can become a guna brahmana that option is there it is your choice nowhere nobody is suppressed therefore understanding our scriptural messages very important so, kaivalyam gnanam means advaita gnanam vedanta gnanam alone is sattvika gnanam based on nirgunam that's why nirgunam smritam so sattvika gnanam what about rajasika gnanam vaikalpikam dvaita gnanam bhagavan is different i am different our swami i am asami he is a savior i must be saved by him how long you want to be a beggar no in front of bhagavan also beggar 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 living and bhagavan has given you so much of free will understand recognize that na this person dvaita gnanam vaikalpika means vikal bhagavan is different i am different he is somewhere sitting i am sitting here this is dvaita gnan tamasam gnanam tu prakritam taking the body as atma prakrita means what no? prakriti that body mind complex is final this is called prakritam gnanam then what about nirgunam gnanam no? mannishtam nirgunam smritam mannishtam means atmanishtha that is kaivalya gnanam what you are getting through these classes the highest the gunatita even above sattvic you are going sattvic going means what these three gunas are at body complex level i am nirgunam brahma you recognize that is called mannishtam means what atmanishtha what is the real nature of krishna atma so atmanishtam nirgunam smrutam neither sattva guna are there nor rajoguna or tamoguna sattva guna itself is not there what to talk of rajoguna tamoguna nirgunam gnana wonderful next 25 vanam tu sattviko vasah gramo rajas uchyate tamasam jyut sadanam manniketam tu nirgunam now please where the sattvic people live rajoguna people live and tamoguna people live residence residence na residing place na <coughs> so here advaita gnanam there is a small analysis like three more points i will tell you why advaita gnanam na advaita undane namaku important that's why in 24th verse trividha gnanam la advaita gnanam means sattvic from the standpoint of sattvic mind that person is getting advaita gnanam because of mind is sattvic sattva sanjayate gnanam therefore sattvic gnanam from the standpoint of the sattvic mind one way of presentation then this is called a locus of knowledge 
in sattvic mind is the mind is the locus in that uh, brahma gnana takes place that's a locus of knowledge mind is the locus of knowledge what type of mind sattvic mind so importance of sattvic mind we have to remember everyone locus of knowledge is sattvic mind what knowledge advaita gnana kaivalya gnana that sattvic uh, mind is the locus place or abode for uh, knowledge one meaning advaita gnana then second is uh, object of knowledge advaita gnana means from the standpoint of knowledge it is called nirguna gnana nirguna gnana is kaivalya gnana why two one here in the first line kaivalyam satvika means where the mind is satvika mind is the locus for advaita gnana that's why satvikam your word is used there it is locus of the mind where advaita gnana is possible then the last one um, the second line second half mannishtam nirgunam when it is uh, mentioned from the standpoint of knowledge from the standpoint of knowledge it is called nirgunam gnanam what it means object of knowledge what is object of knowledge nirgunam brahma nirgunam brahma is the object of knowledge from that standpoint mannishtam nirgunam gnanam smritam in this 25th वर्स त्रिविधवास वास मीन रेसिडेंस प्लेस देर अलोन सात्विक अगेन फॉरेस्ट वनम तो सात्विक वास फॉरेस्ट इज द प्लेस फॉर सात्विक माइंडेड पीपल बिकॉज देर यू कैन सिट क्वाइटली डू जप ध्यान atma vichara all those things that for gurukulam all those days in those days gurus all acharyas used to live in the forest kandva ashramam valmik ashramam vasishta ashramam you can see they are not in the city or gram or village they are out of the city out of like that our swami ji ashram wal sane katti it is out of the city Koyambatur. It has to go 25 km inside, in between the valley, you know. It is like a beautiful place. So that you can sit quietly, no mobile, no newspaper, no connection with the world, people, everybody. Huh? So nowadays everything, Haridwara, Rishiki is also becoming so busy, busy centers. <laughs> Ashramam, those days, forest, Vasaha. what about um, rajasa rajavaguna people prefer to live in gram village village colony like colonies of people they love to society you know? nowadays people are not interested in living individual house everybody wants a flat and the flat no over 300 flats will be there our society and everyone has to the whole uh, other uru <laughs> every flat apartments number of apartments the people are preferring that nowadays and they buy one flat uh, crores one and a half crore two crores three crores also flat they prefer why in rajoguna <laughs> rajoguna people they don't want to sit alone and uh, do meditation dhyana manu yaarume illi ennu solluva they want company people galata time rajoguna people what about tamasic people what is their abode in a bar <laughs> jyota sadanam gambling place all playing cards drinking and five star hotels there bar they sit there jyota sadanam you see in malaysia singapore and all there are big big centers for gambling how many centers are there for gambling publicly wine bar they are keeping shops outside everywhere in the whole world uh, especially you see the tasmark in the tamil nadu 
government getting lakhs and crores and crores of money by selling the uh, alcohol uh, drinks uh, to the people to spoil their life to get money <coughs> delhi also like that only maximum places uh, drugs if you go to villages also small small children are taking the gutka nasha so many bad habits because they are all importing you not know, they are coming from foreign countries drugs to spoil the youngsters in this country youth in this country every college many colleges are drug addiction once a person become a drug addict a nasha gutka in the all those things drinks his brain won't work he goes below 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 to tamasik kanmata he cannot compare even to animal that much he na inferior uh, person becomes more and more this is more dangerous this nasha gutka he drinks all these things should be banned publicly not allowed it should come like that in that i am waiting for that when can i listen that that is my eager desire you know publicly no one should drink no one should take a nasha good car anything pan shop nothing should be there outside punishment also if they take like that but government itself is selling how to do how to correct the people huh? therefore weaknesses of the person should not be encashed they are encashing the weaknesses of the people how the country becomes so weaker and weaker and weaker so that's why you see in western countries also there are lot of drug addiction more it has come to our country also slowly that is the reason in the manipur why so much agitation and government has burnt the so much of ganjai fields acres and acres of ganjai fields they are earning money the local people once government burnt that they are so angry and created some sort of problems in the manipur people do not know this won't come in the newspapers this is the truth happened because they are getting lot of money from foreign countries by selling that ganjai since government want to stop that now they are against to government so the good things also must be encouraged by people okay any i have just diverted edikena sonnana jyota sadhanam anna playing cards i told you know when i went to sneha yatra 10 year old boy two boys are sitting playing cards in front of the temple in sitting in front of the lord rama and playing the cards and i called them out and showed everyone see how they are doing i made them to promise not to play cards in villages no control at all sani ho leave it now manniketam tu nirgunam so the final one every shloka he is telling the fourth one is beyond three gunas hmm? as he said in the 24th shloka mannishtam nirgunam smrutam that gnanam here manniketam means what um, absolute nature nirgunam absolute nature of the lord my abode is beyond the gunas nirgunam is neither satvik nar rajasik nar tamasik what is the main aim of vedantic student who is listening to uddhava gita vichara sagara bhagavad gita bhashyam naishkrama siddhi naal class ellar ketti nirkonna edukaha na in the fourth quarter ka manniketam tu nirgunam my abode is absolute truth nirgunam brahma it is beyond three gunas next shloka 26 satvik karako sangi ragandho rajasasmrutam tamasasmruti vibhrashtah nirguno madama madapashrayah 
निर्गुण मद अपाश्रय दट ईज द फोर्थ वन सात्विक सात्विक कर्ता कारक मीन कर्ता ई हव टू बी ए सात्विक कर्ता ई मस्ट गेट सात्विक ज्ञान ई मस्ट बी फस्ट यू हव टू रीच टू एटीस्ट सात्विक वास लर्न टू लिव अलोन at least you need not go to forest you cannot go to forest also because they are not leaving the forest they are all cutting the trees you won't get to forest also nearby in your house itself stay some time alone and do vivikta devi sevi lagwasi what lord krishna said in bhagavad gita vivikta sevi learn to be Uh, alone in solitude for some time every day in your house that itself is a forest okay you can do atma chintana every day spend some time for a few months if you do like that regularly it will become a habit for you that sadhana will help you tremendously every day half an hour or one hour minimum can't you spend for your sake no talking nothing your own sadhana either studying shastra or doing japa or doing meditation or nididhyasanam whatever you want to do you can do spiritual sadhana every day it is wonderful okay satvikah karakah na satvik karta is asangi asangi means not attached to anyone detached whatever he performs satvik karma only he performs because he is satvik karta satvik karta perform what satvik karma so asangi the one who is em enjoying the present life no worry about past uh, no worry about future no guilt for past no anxiety for future no any uh, disappointment about past like that on the other hand he learns from the past and live the present life uh, beautifully joyfully whereas rajasikah rajas rajasah ragandhah smrutah ragandhah means uh, blinded eyes by attachment blinded Yeah. by attachment raga means attachment andaha means blind because of attachment you know, he becomes almost blind attachment towards things people if you are having that attachment you have to suffer any person if i have attachment towards any person too much attachment the dissociation of that person generate a lot of anxiety insecurity in me and any object also is why any uh, luxury all should not become a need for me phone is a luxury car is a luxury nice house is a luxury tv is a luxury they should not become need for me my life should not become miserable if that is not there the but rajasa ha karta is one who is having attachment with all things and people and uh, always uh, uh, looking into other people because of attachment any pain any disturbance if any then thing they talk uh, immediately disturbed right because of attachment what about tamasah smriti vibhrashtah na he is more deluded he never think he will not have any sort of uh, hmm, justifying error is human people say hmm, live pragmatically practically you know what all these things uh, uh, are a compromising values error is human error is human but repeatedly doing is not uh, human it is inhuman okay that's why it never justify regret over the past not learning any lessons from the past you know the stamasic people around us also they should not be there be careful always never mingle with the stamasic people 
what are the who are the tamasic and you should know what tamasic krishna said write down in a notebook better uh, sattva guna characteristics rajoguna characteristics tamo guna characteristics avoid tamasic people kalilo rajasa tamas guna mulu gala vari cheli mi galasi velasi don't spend your time mingling with the people who are drinking playing cards or having any materialistic lavishly enjoying the life don't mingle with them a spiritual seeker must be very careful however much the person is a relative or family person member no nothing doing i don't want to spoil my life be careful so tamasaha smruti vibhrashtaha because of tamo guna nirguna madapashraya ye gnani nirguna means ye gnani who is beyond sattva guna rajo guna tamo guna because of shastra study he or she understands regularly attending the class you are spending if you listen my words my words only will ring in your mind you cannot go away from my words always swamini's words are only come in the mind so whatever you give to your mind mind always hooked like elephant trunk whatever you gives it holds <laughs> okay like that uh, our mind is also like elephant trunk if you see a movie that only will be there in the mind if you see cricket match that only will be there in the mind if you listen to vedanta classes a subject that only will be in your mind so whatever you give it holds you can have entertainment but it should not dominate your mind pushing away your spiritual life and sadhana making your life miserable meaningless thus entertainment should not dominate you can have entertainment doesn't matter you can have you can enjoy but not at the cost of leaving them uh, sadhanas spiritual lifestyle thought for getting our goal we always must be like a watch dog <laughs> watch dog okay nirguna madapashraya hai gnani is a um, nirguna karta na nishana nirguna karta means what uh, madapashraya means atma ashraya na he is uh, Uh, with always atmanishthah jeevan muktah jeevan uh, muktah ji uh, jeevan eva brahmanishthah bhavati how i am neither sattva or sattvic rajasic tamasic i am atma who is free from all three gunas <coughs> <coughs> next shloka 27 so until now trividha karta over trividha vasaha over and uh, um, trividha uh, gnanam over today 24 25 26 so now 27 trividha shraddha satikya dhyatmiki shraddha कर्म श्रद्धा तो राजसी तामस ताम से धर्म या श्रद्धा मत्सेवायां तो निर्गुण वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्रेजेंटेशन दिस आर ऑल वर्थ रिमेंबरिंग श्लोकास रिपीटेडली वी कैन कॉन्टेम्प्लेट आध्यात्मिकी श्रद्धा सात्विक वाट एवर आध्यात्मिक मीन वाट हियर स्पिरीचुअल लाइफ आध्यात्मिक श्रद्धा यू आर आल हैविंग आध्यात्मिक श्रद्धा आध्यात्मिक श्रद्धा निर्गुण श्रद्धा इट लीड्स आध्यात्मिक श्रद्धा मीन्स आस्तिक्य बुद्धि फर्स्ट belief in god worshiping god and respecting god's words god's teaching that type of uh, uh, loka sangrahartham seva 
all these things when a person does mat seva karoti nirguna shraddha finally so for uh, sattvikaha you become then nirguna comes later karakaha sorry um sattvik adhyatmiki shraddha everything is meant for purification even any failure any insult uh, sen sensual anything comes only for my purification i am not disturbed by anything that is called adhyatmika shraddha bhagwan provide everything for me right time at right place whatever comes in front of me it is good for me that is called sattvika shraddha spiritual i am purifying myself and then karma shraddha to rajasi rajasika shraddha is that only in karma karma means uh, uh, he is um, having faith uh, only in work workaholic workaholic um, lot of uh, um, work doing 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 in rajasik people they don't sit quietly they always are doing something or other if anyone uh, sit quietly also they say you are useless <laughs> so hyper activity is also not good not good therefore name fame lot of money savings so much of uh, accumulating type and that's why karma always doing something or other then uh, tamasik person is one tamasasya shraddha adharme doing all unrighteous things earning unrighteous way living unrighteous way all wrong habits which are prohibited by shastra all those things he does that is called tamasika shraddha mat sevayam tu nirgunam mat seva means gnani shraddha he does a lot of uh, seva to bhagavan what is real seva to bhagavan uh, listening to his words living according to his words don't telling it is difficult and i don't say difficult it is uh, um, my duty to do like that kartavyam karya mithyeva yat karma this is to be done that type of thinking is there in that person's mind what about uh, tam the mad um, last one is uh, mas seva nar ishvara seva gnani shraddha is uh, 12th chapter you can remember mat seva means atma seva atma seva means abiding in atman seeing everything sarva atma bhava sarva atma bhava guna saral at prakriti level i am guna rahita that is real seva then ahara next shloka 28 patyam putamanayastam aharyam satvikam smritam ేంద్రియ ప్రేష్టం తామసం చాతిదాశుచి పథ్యం పూతం అనాయాస్తం ఆహార సాత్విక్ పీపుల్ షుడ్ టేక్ ఆర్ దే లైక్ దట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ పథ్యం దట్ హుచ్ ఈస్ గుడ్ for health is called pachyam here hmm? pachyam and uh, pachyam food na swami is food is like pachyam food the students thinks it is good for health <laughs> that's why i eat okay good for health pure vegetarian food even without onion garlic mirchi masala etc etc even that lavangam also you know people say whenever wherever we go biryani uh, biryani why to say biryani why food biryani 
Mixed rice also they say, don't say, palau they use the word. Even in ashramas they use the word palau. I feel, I many times I, I told them, don't use that word palau. Even many houses they are using palau. Public places also palau. Palau, you word is used by non-vegetarian eating people. A vegetarian eating people are not supposed to use palau. Never use that palau. I feel uh, uh, so uh, no, uneasy to utter even that word from my mouth. You can say vegetable rice. Vegetable rice you can say. Why to use the palau? Uh, people, no, that is pacham. Putam, pure. Putam and pure holy food. Then anayastam and easily available food without any struggle. Easily available. More we will see about food in the next class. Same sloka. Om pur namadah pur namidam pur nath pur namudachate pur nasya pur namadaya pur nameva vasishyate Om shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om